This is a book review of Mirror, Tidebreaker by Daniel Page and illustrated by Stephen Byrne. And absolutely beautifully drawn it is as well. Now this is a, it says, a riveting new portrayal of a fiercest princess. Now I have to say, I don't know much about Mirror or Aquaman. I've read the showcase books, so that's about it in terms of things. I was really looking forward to the omnibus edition that was going to come out of Aquaman. That didn't happen for some weird reason. So uh, Aquaman's not a character I know that much about, but still, I thoroughly enjoyed this. So I'm just going to show the credits. And, well, the colour colorist was David Cauldron. Cauldron? My apologies, I said that name wrong. Letterer Joshua Reed, and thoroughly brilliant as well. Lettering is great. Colour is just beautiful all the way. And there you can see it's a romance, not really giving much or spoiling it, just simply by showing that scene in a sense, it gives some of it away. Because of course, well, Mirror, you know, if you know anything about Aquaman, there's a relationship between the characters. So again, no spoilers on that sort of thing. I guess you'll come into this knowing a little bit about the storyline. Of course, there's the film as well. So you've got Mirror and Arthur Curry. At this point, the characters know very little about, obviously, their destiny, all the various issues that they've got. But obviously, that's to come. Hope oh, maybe in a, another volume of these sort of brilliant series like this. Now, let's go to some of the art. It's got a nice little introduction, which I love introductions. And there's 210 pages in total in this book, 208, 210, that sort of thing. But it's uh, the story is only about 180 pages. The panel structure, everything about it is so easy flowing all the way through. There's no sort of complexity in thing. Nothing is very panel, 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 and so on and so on. So there's no sort of overly complicated panels where you've got to really struggle to work out. So just read it very quickly, very easy to read. Great little story. And the artwork is superb. I'm just going to show you some of the artwork. And the colouring is just beautiful as well. The inking, absolutely first rate. No problem with the story at all. Loved it. Now, this my version of this book. Sadly, it's slightly damaged, fallen to pieces. Hopefully, that isn't the case on all these sort of books, but obviously, must have fallen in the water at some point. Luckily, it's probably saved by Mirror. She pulled it out of the ocean at that point. But it's uh, that is a pity it's come away a bit from that. Well, we learn a lot about Mirror. We learn a lot, obviously, about Arthur Curry and obviously their relationship. Also, about the various issues. They're happening there's protest trouble at home because of protests the Atlanteans are controlling this place called and i'm going to get the name so i don't get it wrong you can see there a place called expel i don't know if this matches the actual comic book and you've got mirror who's the princess of this place and the father of course there's lots of issues and also of course on the other side as well the Atlanteans as well there's a suitor from another area who's obviously clearly involved, obviously loves. You always have to have that sort of storyline in these. Sort of, it's a romance story. It's basically a romance story. Let's say whether she should choose to follow her heart or mission to kill. An astonishing story. Duty, love, heroism, etc. And it's just a thoroughly enjoyable, heartwarming, a lovely, lovely read all the way through. And... You've got, uh, oh, I don't want to show that because that will ruin the scene. New, ah, oh, there's a scene now. There's a bit obviously seen. Again, I'm not, I don't think that's any level of spoiling by showing obviously a briefer scene of showing, because of course they're going to get together. You've seen that in the initial page. But so that's the story the love, the romance, the growing relationship, what's going to happen, all the various conflicts, issues. 180 pages odd of story, absolutely enjoyed all of it. Thoroughly, thoroughly. Now, my copy was fairly cheap, which is probably why it was damaged. But uh, though it's not an expensive, most of these series of books are relatively cheap price, and I love them actually. I've yet to read a bad one. So uh, I've read quite a few of these uh, DC Inc. volumes, and I think they're just great. And hopefully they will bring out more. I don't know if they are. I haven't looked recently to see if there's any new ones, but uh, I've certainly enjoyed the ones I have read. And at the back, one I did enjoy reading as well. Uh, this one, oh, it's got some bonus material as well, as well as the, uh, uh, I better not turn to that page because that's the end. So it's got a bit 
Daniel Page, it's about her, as well as Stephen Byrne, which is quite nice, now lives in London. He's uh, originally from Dublin in Ireland. So, uh, and then you've got some uh, concept sketches. Now, I love the red here. In many ways, I wonder it would have worked better if it had been that bright, intense red than the orange. But you've got the uh, sketches here to show that it could have been, but obviously they decided to go for a more orange, browny sort of approach. And then you've got uh, a sneak preview. Now, I always feel slightly, slightly cheated by previews at the back of books. Now, I don't mind one page or two pages, but uh, this actually does quite a few, especially when I've already bought the book as well. So you've got uh, the review of Catwoman at the back. Sneak preview there. And then all the way through, and to end the whole thing, you've got some books in place where you could put some notes or something about the, uh, the story, I guess. And you've got the fish, obviously, at the back. And the fish, obviously, on the back again. Well, I say mirror, tiebreaker. I thoroughly enjoyed this. It was a really enjoyable read. I say it's a fair, you can see there, it's a, not the thickest of books, but it's just, a, and also it's not massive as well. You can see the size there. Brilliant read, mirror, tiebreaker. Totally recommended.